My first experience with a vitamin C was truly horrendous. When I first applied it, my skin looked beautiful and glowy, but then the next day I woke up and had thousands of tiny little bumps all over my face. It ended up flaring my eczema, which led to subsequent hyperpigmentation, and I just wore off vitamin C for years. This was before I learned that there were all of these different vitamin C derivatives and which one works best for which skin types and skin concerns. So in this video, we're going to break it all down so that you can avoid the disaster that happened to me. So let's first talk about the benefits of vitamin C. It is a potent antioxidant. This means that it's fighting off the environmental aggressors and oxidative stress that can wreak havoc on the skin, making visible signs of aging happen faster, and also worsening hyperpigmentation, amongst a lot of other things. It also helps to brighten and even out your skin tone, making your skin look more radiant and help with hyperpigmentation. It has tyrosinase inhibiting abilities, so basically it can help to downregulate the overproduction of melanin. It's also fantastic for boosting your collagen. So not only does it prevent collagen from being broken down, but it actually can help to build collagen. It also boosts the benefits of your sunscreen and by decreasing the amount of damage that the sun does to the skin. By not only minimizing the amount of inflammation that happens from a sun damage, but increasing the amount of time that it actually takes for that damage to occur on the skin, whether that would be a sunburn or hyperpigmentation. It doesn't take the place of your sunscreen, my friends, so don't get too excited, but it does boost the protection factor of your sunscreen. Now the form of vitamin C that tore my skin up was l acid. So I choose to go with the inactive or the derivatives of vitamin C, meaning that they need to be converted before they can do all of the beautiful work in your skin. So let's talk about the active versus the inactive form of vitamin C so that you can choose the best vitamin C for both your skin type as well as your skin concern. The active form of vitamin C is known as l acid. This is the most well studied research and evidence-based vitamin C. You can find it at anywhere between concentrations of 5 and 20% to be the most effective. Now, of course, the higher the concentration, the more irritation, and even the lower concentrations of l acid can be irritating. This is because it needs to be used at a very low pH in order to remain very stable. It is extremely unstable by nature. It gets easily oxidized when exposed from anything from light to air to metal to temperature. So yes, someone with normal resilient skin type can do really well with l acid. And because that pH is usually 3.5 or lower, it is not ideal for anyone with sensitive skin because it can already be very irritating. Also not ideal for anyone with acne. Putting something that acidic on an already damaged skin barrier may cause more inflammation and therefore flare the acne even further. But the benefit of using this active form, l acid, the gold standard, is that it doesn't need to be converted to get all of those beautiful benefits that we talked about. So who should be using this form? Is someone with a normal or balanced skin type that is very resistant and not easily irritated. Now, of course, the tried and true skin pseudocolus has tons of data and research backing up its efficacy. But this package is pretty big and you really do want to go through your vitamin C within about three months because of that instability. So if you fall into this skin type and you really want to try vitamin C, I would recommend going with a product like this. This is the CeraVe Vitamin C Serum, but most importantly is the packaging. It's 10% l acid, but this packaging will hold up with a different light and as oxygen and air gets exposed to it as you're using it. This is actually the same kind of packaging that a lot of medication comes in, so I really like the stability of this packaging. Another option would be going with something like this. These are the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Vitamin C Serums. These come in these little individual capsules, or you could even go with one like this. This is the Beachy Lift Active. The reason that I like these is because they come in individual dosing, so that makes them very stable, and you don't have to worry about them going rancid or trying to use them up as quickly as possible because they're gonna come in these individual doses and then you don't have to worry about the light stability, the oxygen, and all of the other things that you tend to have to worry about when you're using a dropper bottle like this. So those are my recommendations. If you're gonna go with l acid, I always say start low, go slow. This one is 10%, this one is 20%. So 
If that's your choice, I would just make sure not to dive in too quickly. Now, if you deal with acne, research has shown that sodium ascorbyl phosphate may be the best vitamin C derivative for you. This is because not only does it decrease C acne, so the acne causing bacteria, but it's also anti-inflammatory and can help to regulate oil production, all of which can help to minimize breakout. Plus, it's stable at a higher pH of six to seven, so you don't have to worry about dealing with that very acidic pH that can be really irritating to acne prone skin. So you may wanna check out the Olay Brightening Serum or the number seven Protect and Perfect Serum. Now the vitamin C derivatives definitely do not have that same amount of robust data behind them as L-ascorbic acid, but they do have some pretty promising clinical data, especially my favorite form, which is tetrahexadecal ascorbate, or THD. This one is stable at a pH of five and it is a lipid loving, meaning that it easily penetrates the skin barrier. It also has a lot of the same proven benefits as l acid, especially when it comes to hyperpigmentation. And because it's a higher pH and it's lipid soluble, it's much less likely to be irritating on the skin. My beyond sensitive skin loves THD. I use it every day, both morning and night. So THD is gonna be a fantastic vitamin C derivative, honestly, for pretty much every skin type. It's especially good if you have a sensitive skin or if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation. Some of the products that I really love and use in my everyday routine are the Also Defense and Repair Serum. You guys have heard me talk about this before. This is a powerhouse of an antioxidant serum. It actually has 19 antioxidants in there. THD is just one of them. This product is beautiful but expensive. So if you wanna incorporate THD but you're not trying to spend that kind of coin, there is an alternative. Vanna Cream makes a nice vitamin C serum at a much more affordable price. This of course doesn't have a lot of the other robust antioxidants in there but if you really just wanna get THD into your routine and a really nice elegant formula, this is made for sensitive skin. And as you can see, it's actually also formulated with ceramides. So this is going to give you the THD and the ceramide delivery at not such a hefty price. Now the Alta Defense is the one that I like to use in the morning. It goes underneath my sunscreen and it's just really nice and lightweight. I live in Florida, so I really don't have to change up my skincare routine too much with the seasons. But if you live in a colder climate, a serum might not do it for you in the winter time and you might wanna think of using more of a thick moisturizer that contains vitamin C. So if you're looking for something a little bit thicker and richer, this is a great option. This is the Pillow Talk Derm by Dr. Shireen Idris. This is the major fade active seal. So it's a moisturizer and a beautiful convenient pump and it's really 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 nice on the skin and it does include the THD in there plus it has additional brightening ingredients so if you're fighting hyperpigmentation you're getting a lot of ingredients in this nice well-rounded moisturizer or if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly Burst makes one as well it's the Burst Weak and Glow Daily Brightening Moisturizer I have this but I cannot find it so if I find it I will make sure to pop it in this video for you so you can see the texture but it is a moisturizer just a little bit thinner than the one from Pillow Talk Derm now I have really amped up my anti-aging skincare routine especially at nighttime so I've started adding in vitamin C even at night and the one I've been loving is this one here by Allies of Skin. It's the CE15 Bakuchiol Firming Oil. So not only does it have THD, but it also has Bakuchiol and CoQ10. So on the nights that I'm not using my retinoid, I reach for this one here, just for the extra anti-aging benefits and the skin brightening benefits. This is a little bit pricey, guys. There's a nice alternative to this by the sister company of Allies of Skin called PSA, and it's the Gifted. So it's the vitamin C glow oil and this one also has THD in there as well It doesn't have bakuchiol, but it has some other great antioxidants like sea buckthorn oil Now if you have a super sensitive skin another vitamin derivative that you may want to give a go is 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid This is a newer derivative that doesn't have quite as much research behind it Though the clinical data that is out there is pretty promising now while this derivative is weaker than LSD 
monosorbic acid. It does show that it has antioxidant properties, can help to boost your collagen and help with evening out your skin tone. If you want to try this one out, a good product would be this one here. It is by First Aid Beauty. It's the 10% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This is also the form of Vitamin C that is featured in Fenty's new Watch Your Tone along with Niacinamide. So that would be a great choice if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation just because you're getting that extra benefit from Niacinamide as well. Ascorbyl glucoside is another vitamin C derivative that is good for very sensitive skin that may be dealing with hyperpigmentation. Again, this one needs more studies behind it, but if you're looking for a recommendation, this form of vitamin C can be found in Ordinary Products, the Inculus products, and also Skin by Lori Harvey. Now, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, the beauty is that you can choose the form of vitamin C that is best for your skin type and then look for additional hyperpigmentation fighting ingredients that have been added to that product for an extra bonus. Now there are quite a few other derivatives of vitamin C that we haven't quite gone through yet because they don't have as much data backing them up. If you have a super dry skin, you may want to reach for magnesium ascorbyl phosphate or MAP because it has been proven to be helpful with hydration. So if you've got really dry skin, you might want to use this one. Youth to the People features MAP. Now, ascorbyl palmitate is really a vitamin C derivative that I would tell you to just go ahead and sidestep. We just don't have the clinical data backing up this one and it's very unstable. So I would say you're definitely better off spending your money on some of the other vitamin C derivatives. All right guys, I hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure to check out this next video so that you can figure out how to pair your vitamin C with your retinoid to get maximum results. And let me know what you wanna see next time. Until next time everyone, be well.